Trumpton is gonna be all right. He's been all right forever. He knows how to make money and get money. And they're, they're shakedown guys. So yeah. You know, that's totally what it is. They're yeah. shakedown. So what, you think Al Sharpton um, is kind of like a crook in a sense? Like you think he's like... He's an all right, folks, that was a short compilation of uh, some of the people that uh, exposed uh, Al Sharpton, unbeknownst to them at the time. Uh, the last one was Eric Gardner's uh, daughter, Erica, who said he's all about this and made the money sign with her fingers. Joining us now is James O'Keefe, founder of Project Veritas, the man who took out Acorn and the man whose uh, group is responsible for exposing uh, what people think about Al Sharpton. James, welcome. Great to be here. Thank you. What was the purpose of, of, of this, uh, this undertaking? It was to let uh, the other people who've been victims of these tragedies, these unfortunate tragedies, the Trayvon Martin situation, the Ferguson, Missouri situation, Eric Gardner, the guy who uh, there was a chokehold in Staten Island by the NYPD, let their families speak about how Al Sharpton exploited them for his own uh, organization in his own situation and, and, and for his end, not theirs. It was so powerful when you look at the face of Erica Gardner in the tape, when you see the anguish and, and, you, and you can see the hurt in her eyes as she talked about this. I think it's one of the most powerful things that is yet to be shown about who the real Al Sharpton is. Well, I wanna, I wanna, we got a lot to get to. I want to play one more bite of Eric, uh, Erica Gardner. And uh, here she's uh, talking about how she was pressured uh, by uh, uh, one of the lieutenants of the National Action Network, uh, Sharpton's group, to, to put her, their, their emblem on her flyers that she handed out. Here, let's watch. Erica Garner, the daughter of Eric Gardner, has also severed ties with Al Sharpton, saying his organization has tried to control her actions and profit from her father's death. This lady, Cynthia Davis, she's the chapter out here for the National Action Network. Cynthia Davis oh. called you and told you, oh, you need to put the uh, even, logos. Oh, she told me to my face, too. Cynthia Davis is one of Al Sharpton's top lieutenants. She started attacking me as far as, oh, you, I seen that you got this fly out. How come you ain't let add the logo? So they want their logo on yeah, your flyers? on my flyers. But it's not about them, it's about your dad. Exactly. All right, so, so I mean, there were so many people. We're talking about the Trayvon Martin Foundation, lawyers for the families involved, the family members themselves. So how on earth does, does Al Sharpton maintain this credibility at least, the, you know, they all put on a face, they all stand with him, they all meet with him, and the media worships him. That's a very good question, Steve. How does he survive this? How does he maintain any, any remaining credibility? Uh, a remarkable thing happened hours after he released this, Steve. First of all, it made the front page of the New York Post. It made every single TV station in New York, which I've been doing this, you know, undercover work for, for six, seven years, and that's never happened before. But more than that, Apparently what happened was National Action Network, which is the group that Erica Gardner is talking about, took advantage of her, and Cynthia Davis is, is Sharpton's lieutenant. Apparently they started a brand new foundation in conjunction with Erica Gardner just hours after this video came out. Very interesting, isn't it, that that happened. Um, we don't know how that happened or who paid whom. But Erica Garner did double down, did double down on what she said into my hidden camera. She told the New York Post the National Action Network has, and Cynthia Davis, have, have taken advantage of the situation. So, look, I mean, is this going to take him down? That, that's, that's not for me to say, but um, it would be very interesting to see whether he continues to have credibility in the African-American community after this. What was, 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 is it your, was it your intent to take him down? when this was all said and done? My intent is to let the video speak for itself, let the family speak for themselves. People say, well, James, you feel this way or you feel that way. I don't feel any way. I, my job is to report what the families think. Now, what I will tell you, Steve, is some family members we spoke to did not, even, even off the record, they did not want to say anything about Mr. Sharpton because they feared retaliation. All right, what kind of retaliation? Well, I, I, I don't, I don't want to get into the, the, the exact comment, but they, 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 they it was simple. It was simple as saying, I, uh, I'm afraid. I don't want to say something. Do you believe that was phys they feared physical retaliation? It, it was unclear. All right. They well, were, let me ask you. You, you know, you put out an email. I'm on your email list, and and you said in anticipation of this release that this is the most frightened you've ever been for your life. 
Is that, are you frightened for your safety and your life after, after this expose? I did say, I did tweet that out on Sunday. It was pretty amazing how widely that got circulated. I, you know, I, I, maybe, maybe that's something I should have probably kept to myself because what I don't want to do is I don't want to deter others from doing this type of work and I don't want people to think that I'm going to give up. It's just occasionally I do get scared and, and for reasons I, I don't want to get into. I saw, but are you, are, I mean, you, you also put, sent it out in an email, I mean, that I got. So are, 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 you, are you afraid for your safety right now? I, no longer. We've taken steps. We've, we've gotten a, a firm to handle some issues. We've received some threats, but we're, we're managing the situation. Uh, we, we, we've got a firm that handles both, of our, both our IT security and our physical security. So okay. We're, okay. we're growing up and we're making sure that, that nothing stops us from being able All right, to do now, now, there's more. I mean, nothing else has been released yet. You say there's more to come. Um, what, what could we expect? I mean, more along the same lines here, or some kind of you know knockout punch, if you will. We 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 are we are uh, uh, we 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 did attempt to confront Mr. Sharpton. I actually saw him, and he saw me, and there was a video there of his reaction and some things that were producing as we speak. We're trying to get more material, um, but I thought it was most impactful to put all three. Uh, Ferguson, Staten Island, and Florida. I thought it was most impactful to put all of those three incidents together. Absolutely. Do you think yeah. MSNBC will uh, react to this in any way? A source inside of a network told me that they're really uh, on the, on the edge with him, but I, I don't. It's hard to say. People said that uh, he's losing his Daily Show, getting a weekend show. Um, th th is a pretty high bar to reach, even for him to, to uh, get kicked off. But we'll, we'll just have to see. And again, what about not... Obama? Will Obama stop inviting him to the White House? I tweeted at Obama. I, I said, your move, President Obama. I mean, he's been, he's, he's been over how many times? A few dozen times. He's yeah. working with Eric Holder and the Justice Department. These things have to be accounted for. People say, well, everyone already knows this to be true, James. What's the point of exposing it? Well, it, it, it matters when you get it on videotape. On the record, victims, families, that matters. And what about so, it, the, do you address the IRS thing at all? Uh, which IRS thing is that? I mean, that, you know, he's uh, allegedly owes the IRS tons of money. No, that wasn't this story. The, yeah, uh, the, only, yeah. thing, the only thing that someone did say, there was a prominent Trayvon Martin donor and businessman. Right, man. who didn't trust him, didn't want him invited. Listen, I got to go, James. Great stuff. Thank you very much. James O'Keefe, Project Veritas. The panel's next. Don't go away.